Welcome back. Today, the Imperial County Board of Supervisors voted in favor of a bill creating tax revenue from lithium extraction taxes. That's right. It's just the latest move in our ongoing coverage of lithi Lithium Valley. And our very own Jalen Aguilera was at the meeting and has the latest with details. The latest Imperial County Board of Supervisors with the major vote in support of getting money from lithium extraction. Poor supervisors in favor, one only opposed. Supervisor Ryan Kelly says it's better to approve what's on the table now. And the bill does not try to take anything, but it is the, uh, the worry that there could be a new piece of legislation that would. And that's why we took the action we did. So I'm asking the board to It would tax lithium extraction by each metric ton. 50% of what would go towards infrastructure and other services, with the rest of the money going to law and justice and improving air, land, and water resources in the area. The Imperial Valley Equity and Justice Coalition believes there needs to be a strong resident oversight of any lithium tax revenue but is concerned where the money is going. At this time, the County of, of Imperial has an open comment period to take in more feedback from the public that ends at the end of this month. So if the public wants to participate in the, uh, in the plans for how the tax revenue from lithium is gonna be spent, they can uh, submit a public comment uh, via email. The Imperial Valley is also known as the Lithium Valley due to the Salton Sea producing over 600,000 tons of lithium per year. It is also the largest reserve of lithium in California. Reporting from Yuma, I'm Jaylene Aguilar. Thank you, Jaylene.